large or tall guards who play on the outside. So this is going to be a real challenge for Georgia Tech's post players. And right on cue, the reverse by Morgan Jones, the career high 36 points. And right now in this set, you see this matchup. Oh, Lassiter with a second That's triple of the quarter. Three. Sayani Lassiter had four points all season. Six in the quarter. The Seminoles <laughs> lead by 11. Off the fake of the handoff, counted and the foul, Kubai. Even if you don't get a turnover. Right. Slow them down because they were making it look too easy in that first quarter. The Queen lines up the three and knocks it down. Seminoles still looking for their first points of the quarter. Quesis from way downtown, and that's one way to snap it. At 6 1, she's not your average guard. Queen with the dribble and pitch to Fletcher, and she bangs down the mid-range jumper. She was a point guard her first two years, but her shot chart looked more like a post player. It did. Rarely did she step out and test the waters of long range. McQueen tests the waters of long range, and Sleesa flashes home a three. In the scoring column, one place she'll get it done is on the defensive end and rebounding, so pretty impressive. She has seven rebounds in that first half. And Woo! another three by Lasseter, her third three of the game. The swing, Fletcher, open, three, bottoms. But on this last play, Kiara Fletcher right there sets herself up, making sure that. And a nice screen by Kiara Fletcher to free up McQueen. Wow. That's a wipeout screen, and Jones trying to hurry back in the half court as Lawton switches the three. Against Clemson, it was exhilarating, but it was exhausting. The only play eight. Weber attacks and scores. Looking like in that third quarter when they lost that lead. That it was looking bad, like they weren't going to be able to get it back or get their rhythm back, and they find a way to get the win at home.